I first used Trust Mapping as a Year 7 mentor, so we received the data um, I think four times a year, which was really useful in terms of understanding how student relationships and student groups were developing within the class. To be able to see a student sitting out on their own a little bit on a chart or a graph is a bit of a strange phenomenon. Often as a teacher you sense it, um, but it's less visible in the classroom. We can't look at the curriculum in isolation to the relationships that form at school, particularly in the lower year levels as students are coming in. I think we all remember what it feels like to be at school. We remember the, the groups that form um, and it can be all-consuming. It's how are they fitting in, what are they involved in, what are they learning um, at multiple levels, so not just in the classroom but by joining groups, activities, etc. Um, and trust mapping helps with that and it helps us see uh, where they feel they belong within the school.